and welcome to a new Let's Play of Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance on the Game Boy Advance, which is brought to you by all the studios that you're seeing on screen. Now, I didn't originally have this in mind after finishing Beyond Oasis, but yeah, plans have changed, and honestly, I have actually am happy that I'm doing this one over the other one because the other one was kind of annoying, and really, I love D&D, so yeah. I'm going to be doing this one. Now, this did get released on the PlayStation 2, Xbox, and GameCube, and the thing is, I have all of those systems. I just don't have a copy for any of those systems. And yeah, this is a another take of this video, because, yeah, some failures and whatnot in the previous recording. And then, then the first recording, I kind of didn't... I kind of wanted to redo originally, because that one was 20 minutes, and yeah, you probably should see that this is 30 minutes... Because really, this does take a bit of getting going at the start. And yes, I would like to save or erase that game because I'd like to make a new game. Yeah, and here we have our classes. And thing to note is that this game is very loosely based on the D&D 3rd &D Edition. Or Dungeons & Dragons for short, that's what D&D stands for. Anyways, yeah, we have the fighter who is best suited for melee combat... The wizard, who is suited for magical combat, and the archer, who is suited for ranged combat, which is the class I'm going to choose. Now, I don't know exactly all the stats or and what they do, but here I'll try to give a summary. Strength determines your damage and carrying capacity. Dexterity determines your armor and your and your abilities to use bows. Well, yeah, essentially your accuracy. Intelligence determines, I believe, determines your mana regeneration. Wisdom increases your... how much experience you get from enemies. Constitution is for your hit points. And Charisma helps reduce prices in, in shops and allows you to sell things for more. And with that, let's validate. And here we go! Act 1, Baldur's Gate! You are weary from your travels. But you are mesmerized at the sight of Baldur's Gate. Not only a city of myth and legend, but also a place where anyone can achieve fame and fortune. It's already dark when you arrive, and the city seems strangely deserted. You decide to find a place to sleep. You are unaware that danger lurks everywhere, and suddenly... Easy pickings, eh, Karn? Yeah, I may screw up the pronunciation of some names, so please do excuse me. Indeed. Let's see what our little ambush has won us. HALT! Who goes there? It's the Watch! Let's get out of here! Yes, but take the gold. Leave the rest for the Watch. Damnable thieves. They grow bolder with each passing day. Still, some life in this one. Looks like all they did was make off with some possessions. Easy. Easy there. That's quite a blow you took. Those thieves that attacked you made off with your possessions, but at least you're al alive. I'm assuming you're going to tell me why I'm lucky. That's because few of those who have crossed their path survive. You'd best stay off the streets after the sun sets. It's not safe out here. Yeah, you think? You could seek shelter in the Elsong Tavern. It's close enough. Yeah, it's right to the left. Aye, more than enough cutthroats there. Could be one of them mm, would even know how to find those that attacked you. Okay, and here we go. Now, one of my first criticisms about this game is that there's not a whole lot of music, and honestly, it's quite a damn shame. Really? Oh yeah, you probably did heard that. I don't know, just let me know if the volume for this game is a little too quiet at times, because, yeah, it is a new Let's Play and I need to gauge the level volume level for this game. Welcome, stranger. You don't look so well. Yeah, I got conked out on the head. Should ask Aelith, the barmaid, for a little fortifying drink. Yeah, one time I accidentally... I almost misread that as something. And... Hmm? Yeah, you're pretty helpful. And yeah, pressing the B button, or in this case the X button on my controller, allows us to talk to people. What do you want? I want to punch you in the face. And, hello, can you hear that? Beautiful song, isn't it? I've heard her sing a hundred times, and each time it still moves me. It's the spirit of an elven woman. She haunts this tavern, singing every once... Once every couple of nights. Some say she sings for a lost love, a soldier who died defending Baldur's Gate. 
They say she sings in the hope he will hear her voice and return home. Still, that's nothing but hearsay and tales. Well, considering this is... The Forgotten Realms and magic is really abundant... Yeah, that's that wouldn't be too far-fetched, in my opinion. Welcome to the Elf Song Tavern. It's called so because sometimes the song of an elven woman's spirit can be heard. I'm Aelith, the bartender. I heard from the guards that you were knocked out by thieves. Wow, that was quick. I can see they robbed you. At least they left us with our tunic and our pants and boots. At least I think we have pants on. Sounds like members of that new thieves guild, which is hanging out a around a lot lately. A lot of people have disappeared since their arrival. The majority of them were members of the old guild. Ah, that would kind of make sense. They are known to strike silently and suddenly using the underground passages of the city. Yeah, that's kind of typical of rogues. If you want to get your items back, you should take a look in the sewers. Oh, great! What a cliche. You can access them through the sewers, through the tavern cellar, but there are a lot of huge rats down there. R-O-U-S's! They m must have been driven out by the movements of thieves and other sewer creatures. Oh, great. Therefore, lock the cellar door, and I don't even dare to go down there. I'll make you a deal. If you wipe out those rats, I'll give you the key to the sewers. Oh, joy! And also another cliche! Freaking clearing out someone's freaking building or whatever of rats. Ugh. You want to get... Into the cellar, you'll need to talk to. You'll need to get the key from Elthon, the keeper of the tavern's keys. He is near the fireplace. Yeah, that's the dude I first talked to. But yeah, his dialogue would have changed if I hadn't talked to him before. Anyways, hello. Yes, I'm Elthon. Elith told you to go down the cellar. Here, take the key. Be extra careful. The rats down there are huge. Yeah, she just told us. But I found all kinds of things in the cellar. Once I even killed a beholder, which is stuffed above the fireplace. Yeah, I kind of highly doubt that. I kind of doubt that. It is a pretty nasty beast. Believe me, if you meet one, run. Yeah, the thing is about Beholders is, is that they have all these eye stalks on their body, and each of them can frickin' flake, fire just all sorts of things like sleep, disintegration, and just death in general. It knows magic as well. And yeah, here's the kicker. Its eye stalk, its main eye can exude a cone of of anti-magic, which completely neuter spellcasters. But in the cellar, you'll only find rats. I think. Great. Take this dagger. It is a little old, but you never know with those freakish rodents you might, you might need it. The tiniest is the size of a dog, and they won't hesitate to attack. The entrance to the cellar is over there, the other side of the room. Good luck. And we receive the cellar's key and a rusty dagger. Now, let's just go ahead and open up the door, which is right here, and let's do a little bit of quote-unquote light reading. Book of Controls. Welcome, traveler. If you want to take a long journey in the Forgotten Realms, you'll have to learn to use the powers inside you, or in this case, my controller, which you mean. Read this advice carefully. D-pad move, A to attack, B to perform action. Depending on the case, the action can be speak, take, open, etc. L's to protect. Protection will only be effective when a shield is equipped, except with some spells. Like fireballs, for instance. A is to use a healing potion, recover hit points. And LB is to use a rejuvenation potion, recover mana points. R to switch weapon types at any time. There are three weapon types which are displayed in the three icons at the bottom left of the screen. One is melee weapons, daggers, swords, axes, etc. Two is ranged weapons, which is bows. And three is magical weapons, spells. While more like spells and special abilities, weapons are those which have been selected in the inventory. If you haven't equipped a weapon in your inventory, the corresponding icon shows a red cross, and the type of action weapon type is not usable. Well, I can still punch, so you're a liar. And start oh, will show the weapon, show the inventory screen. And let's here's the book of equipments. I don't you mean equipment? Welcome, traveler. You are now about to learn how to use your inventory once. In the inventory menu, you will see seven tabs. Each correspond to an equipment type. Yeah, that's kind of a bit of a lie considering the nature of some of these types of, of these tabs. The first one allows you to choose your weapon. The second allows you to, to equip your armor of your choice. Third one contains your potions and your magical jewelry. In order to equip an item, uh, weapon, armor, jewel, you must select it and press A. R allows you to drop the item on the ground. 
And the fourth tab shows the statistics of your character. Yeah, that's why it's not freaking. Blah. If you want to upgrade one of your abilities, you must select hit and press A. This option is available when a certain amount of levels have been taken by your character. The fifth ability, the fifth tab allows you to choose and upgrade your magical powers. In order to use a spell, you'll have to equip it. If you want to upgrade a spell, you must select it and press R. Yeah, if you press select on it, you can actually see what it does, but it's very brief. You can also do this as soon as you level up. The sixth tab shows the quest items you possess at the time of the game, and the seventh one is, yeah, essentially our options. B or start will... yeah. Anyways, let's go ahead and equip the dagger, which does 1 to 2 damage and weighs a single pound. Well, let's go ahead and also let's go ahead and say this, yes. Game saved. And yeah, you... Every four... Once we hit level four, we'll be able to upgrade one of our statistics. And also, just a word of warning, melee combat near the beginning without a shield is rather dangerous. And here we got some ROUs S's and all oh, straight off the bat, I got a freaking critical, which is in those gold letters. Yeah, the thing is, you kind of do... A, the thing is, you can miss often at lower levels. Well, usually if you're playing D&D Tabletop, that usually is the case. Or, but actually, yeah, what I meant to say is that you do have a chance to miss this. But the thing is, I honestly feel like that enemies don't miss that often. And it doesn't seem to matter what your armor is, which is kind of BS. And hello, R-O-U-S's. And yeah, this is uh, something odd about this game, is that enemies can't go through doorways. So I'm just going to... For the most part, exploit that mechanic until I actually get a get a shield because, yeah. And by the way, items are, as far as I know, are preset, so you'll always get the same item. And here we got a lesser rejuvenation potion. And if this was actually tabletop Dungeons and Dragons, you wouldn't actually have mana points. That's only like in variant rules of the game do you actually have mana points. Because with most spell... With spellcasters, you have something that's called spell slots. And with... In earlier editions, like 3rd edition and whatnot, you... Essentially, if you were a spellcaster, like a wizard or a cleric, you'd essentially have to prepare a number of spells. Like, you'd have to prepare each day. And essentially, think of it as like a magic gun. Because... The thing is, what I don't like about older editions, like 3.5... Like, 3rd edition, 3.5, which is just a updated version of 3.5. Uh, yeah, I kind of don't like how they use that. And also, that same can goes for AD&D 2nd, 1st and 2nd edition. And oh, hey, look. A uh, rusty short sword, which we will equip. Or, equip. Yeah. Though I haven't really played anything... I haven't really played AD&D 1st, 2nd edition, or even 3rd or 3.5. The only ones that I've really played was Pathfinder, which is a derivative of 3.5. And also D&D 5th edition, which I really do like. That one I really find highly enjoyable. And here we got some armor. Yep. There we go. Yep. And die! Stupid rat. Yeah, sadly the average for the sword is pretty low. And here we got a new enemy coming up, a kobold. Yeah, these guys, you kind of have to watch out for them. They're a little bit vicious at this level. And also, you can probably hear my chair squeaking. And yeah, we really need to take care of them. And also, more arrows. Sadly, I don't have a bow yet. Oh, critical hit! Oh, and is that a shield I see? Yoink! A worn wooden shield. I didn't expect them to drop this. Well then, now this thing's just got a whole lot better. Yeah. Yeah, this is a pretty good tactic with melee once you have a shield. Oh, jeez. And let's see, what did this... Oh, he dropped a rusty dagger. Now, my second criticism of this game, you can't have more than two of the same weapons. Here we got a worn club, which is also pretty garbage. Yep. And we got that guy. 
Wow, I am very happy that I freaking got that shield because... Oh boy, this is just going to make melee combat just tons easier. Let's see. And here we got a warm padded helmet and... All that stuff. Yeah. Let's wear it even though it doesn't provide us with anything. Freaking stupid. And yeah, the thing... One thing that you should know about this game is that you don't lose your... Is that items don't despawn. Once an... If you drop something, it pretty much stays there indefinitely, for all I know. And here we got a new enemy, a spider. And it's dead. Yeah, these things can really take a punishment, or can take a beating, and they can dole out a good punishment to you if you're not careful. And here we go, we got a mana potion. Rejuvenation potion, mana potion, eh. There we go. And, ugh, yeah, you also gotta make sure that your shield, that the enemy, that you're using your shield in the direction of the enemy you're trying to attack, or that's attacking you, whatever, I'm a little bit flustered, and there we go, and of course since they're spiders they don't drop anything, and here we got a rusty hand axe, which isn't really that, all that useful. Yeah, the thing to note is that there are ma there is magical equipment that you can find in the game, and each the mm, usually has a different uh, can have different magical properties. And here we go. We got a light mace, and here we got some more sp spiders. Yeah, just kind of. Die, spider! And we have leveled up! Yeah! Now... Let's see. Got some actual padded armor, which is good. And here we have a rusty longsword and some armor and some... And a ruby, which is good for selling. It's all it's good for. And we have a rusty longsword, which we're going to equip. And I'm going to equip that padded armor. Ugh. Let's see. Smash open this stuff, and this stuff, and yeah, guess what? We gotta walk back all the way to where the frickin'... All the way back out. And here we have a rusty warhammer, and you know what? I'm just gonna speed up. Oh, hey, I, m I missed a pot. Whoops! Could've been gold in there. Whee! Yay! Yay! Yeah, the thing is, warhammers and battle axes and bastard swords... Those are all two-handed weapons. I, well, I believe ban bastard swords are two-handed. Anyways, let's go up and... Let's go and tell the... Oh, that our mission was successful. Yeah, <laughs> now we're decked out. You made it. Oh, you were a great help to me. Here, take these gold coins as a reward. I'm worried about Athon. He went to his home to seek the sewer keys sewer's keys for you, and he didn't come back. With all these thieves down there, I hope he's alright. Could you go and find him? His house is in the neighborhood, in the back of an alley, east from here. You should go into town and use the gold you now have to buy weapons and equip yourself. Bartley, the weapon and items dealer, or owns the shop on the other side of the Innocence Fountain. You received 50 gold coins and 200 experience. And yeah, we are... We're now gotten stuff, getting stuff, and now let's go ahead. Here we are out in the city of Baldur's Gate, or well, just the Game Boy Advance representation. And hey, halt! No one shall pass. Are you a wanderer? You should go stay in the north part of the city. These are far, far more active in the south part. It is why the dukes of the city have decided to close the door at night. I won't open it until tomorrow morning. Well, great. Anyways, here's the shop, and Bartley the shopkeeper. Welcome, friend. I'm Bartley, the best shopkeeper of Baldur's Gate, with the best prices. Yeah, right, you're kind of the only shopkeeper that we have access to, and your prices are kind of bonkers. If you're looking for a good blade or a sturdy shirt of chainmail, you've come to the right place. Our stock may be a bit low at the moment with the recent demand for weapons and armor, but a few shipments... 
should be coming soon. I think shipments. I think a new shipment should be coming soon. I don't know. I don't know the cause, friends, but the word is there's been tr some trouble with the Thieves' Guild of late. No matter to me if the two groups... No matter to me if the two groups kill each other. Never... Never had much use for thieves myself. Well, of course. Now, what can I do for you? And now we can buy stuff. Right now, we kind of want to sell stuff. And I am going to sell all this crap that I'm holding on to. Arrows I'm going to hold on to because I kind of need them. Let's see, sell those boots. Get rid of our padded armor. And let's sell our ruby. Yeah, I don't really have much gold. But we'll get more later. And yeah, a dagger costs a lot less. And let's see, he has a fine club, a short sword plus two, hand axe, a fine light mace, masterwork. Yeah, all of this good stuff. Flaming burst. Worn short bow. Yeah, I'll find one later on, so I'm going to hold off on doing that. And a masterwork. That bow does a lot of damage. And trust me, bows are actually quite decent. Anyways! Oh, hello. Don't come any closer. Who are you? Hmm, you don't look like a thief. I just got robbed. These thugs took everything I had. I'm lucky to be alive. If you find my bundle somewhere, bring it back to me. All my stuff is in it. Yeah, I feel for you, dude. Hello. Ah, you. You don't look like you belong here. If you want my opinion, this city is on the brink of chaos. Strange things are happening for sure. Look at my house. A whole bunch of giant spiders have invaded the place. It's a good thing they can't poison us. Ugh. I came from the sewers, and I can't go back into my own house now. I don't know what's hap what happens in those sewers. Yuck! If you agree to wipe out these spiders, I would be grateful. Great! Another side quest of... Dealing with pests. Yeah. Oh, crap. Die! And yeah, the thing is, there's a lot of spiders, and... That lady is lucky she got out of this house. Oh, boy! Yeah, just... Get! Call the spiders! Call the spiders! And they all died there, and... Still got more of them. It's just more convenient to be able to do this. Alright. Come on! Bring it! Alright. That's what you get, you stupid spider. Eh, some people are probably real. Some people are afraid of spiders. Me, not so much. And let's see, in this barrel, there's nothing, and there should be a barrel up ahead that has a rusty short sword in it, which is right here. And yeah, if you hear that music, that usually means danger nearby. And the reason there's danger nearby is because if we wait for it. Yep, here we have a thief. And I just mistimed my attack. Mistimed letting my block go down. You know, it doesn't feel like this sword does 1 to 4 plus our strength mod. Because, yeah, the. Oh, yeah. And there we receive the tourist bundle. And here's a barrel. Smash it. Nothing in there. Oh, well. Yeah, I did actually have. I have played this game before, but I never actually had the legit cart for this. Which kind of sucks, because this game is actually alright. But it's my bundle! Thanks a lot! This thief only... This thief only got what he deserved. Here, to reward you. By the way, I'm sure... Surely not the only victim. I saw two shadows carrying a knocked out man at the end of this alley. I think they took him into the sewers. I was afraid I did... If, I was so afraid I didn't move, but after they left, I found this key they left behind. Maybe you know what it is? Be careful. If you follow these thieves, they seem numerous and powerful. And we see received Ethon's sewers key and 50 gold coins and 100 experience. Nice. Oh boy. Well, it seems that the thieves guild took Ethon. Better tell Elith. Hey, um... Ah, uh, something happened! But this is the key which Ethelon was supposed to bring me back! I knew it! He has been kidnapped and taken into the sewers! To the sewers! Yep, my bad. 
This is likely the thieves from the new guild's doing. I beg you, find him, find him and save him. Maybe it's not too late. Take the door at the end of the cellar. It will lead you to the sewers. Yeah, we gotta go through the, through the cellar again. Great. Well, this should be a lot less of a track. Because, yeah, the thing is, enemies do respawn, but they're a lot less numerous. And, yeah, those rats only take a, take six points of damage to kill. So, we're good. Seven points. Yeah. Let's go. Let's slaughter and just slice my way through all these enemies. The cobalt still will provide a bit of a issue. Well, not now, since I got the shield. And I missed. Come on. Oh, come on! Hit the guy, will ya? And we got some... We got a gold coin. Yeah, you really... If these guys don't drop a shield, you actually make sh want to make sure that you draw one at a time. Okay. Bring it! Yeah! Yeah! Honestly, I couldn't tell if these were freaking cobalts at all or not. Oh, wait, never mind. It seems that the dagger that the cobalt dropped is gone. Yeah, I believe it's items that you drop that stay, that don't disappear. Enemy, so that looks like that items that enemies drop will disappear. I don't know. I'm not exactly too fully familiarized with the mechanics of this game because, well, like I said, I never had the manual. And oh, two crits in a row! The odds of that! Nice! Let's see, there should be a spider over here. Ow. And there down it goes. And here's the door to the sewers. The northern part, to be exact. And let's go ahead and smash barrels. And also fight more things that dwell within there. Oh, 17 gold. Yeah, I'm not sure if gold... I think... I think gold is randomized. So, yeah. For barrels to be... Ex so, yeah. We will have to keep an eye out for that. And you go down and more arrows. And in this barrel, yep, is a worn short bow. So now we can finally use ranged attacks. However, I would prefer to keep on to my sword and shield. Because right now, I honestly don't want to waste my arrows on these on these fools. They're easy enough to take on. Come on. Bring it! Oh, he's running! Yeah. Kobold... Got too low, so he decided to run away. Run away. No, we got cobalt spear throws. Here's the funny thing about these guys. You can actually get friendly fire. Oh, <laughs> hey, thanks for killing him for me. Oh, and thanks for smashing that barrel. Yeah, these guys, they don't stay still if you try to engage them in melee combat. So, it does prevent them from out does prevent them from from attacking you, but it is annoying to frickin' try and attack them. And here we got another rusty warhammer, which is not all that great. Ah. Get back here. There we go. Gotcha. Now, if we go in here, be a little bit careful. Yeah, there's green slimes. And they have both both melee and physical attacks. And yeah, that guy is just... Ah. Yeah, eat it! Yeah, but since I have a shield, these guys are not too difficult. Die! Will you? Yeah, shield is just pretty much OP for melee combat for the most part. Ugh. And we leveled up again! Nice! 
Yeah, the thing is, my base HP at level 1 was 15, and my base MP was at 6. So, and so far I noticed that with each level up, I get 15 HP each level and 6 MP each level. But, yeah. Anyways, I think now is a good time to end the video off here. So, I've been the Northern Star Dragon, and have a good one.